For someone discovering 3D printing for the first time, it can appear like an almost magical technology. I remember when I first came across 3D printers over 10 years ago, when I was still in high school, I was amazed by the ability of these machines to turn digital data, 3D designs, into tangible real-world objects before my eyes, all on their very own. So step forward to today, almost anyone has the ability to get into 3D printing, now the price and accessibility has dropped so low. However, if you've been using 3D printers, then you'll probably know that it isn't quite as magical as it can appear on the outside. So let me tell you a little story. A few years ago, I moved to Perth in Western Australia to work at a 3D printing studio. 3D printing studio is Perth. I was the lead designer, lead 3D printing engineer, and lead pretty much everything of the studio for over two years. And that's where I was using hobby level 3D printers to print anything from small knickknacks to fully blown architectural and mining site site designs for clients using machines that really weren't designed for it. So once a week in the evening, I would go with Lady Muse to hockey training and she would go and do her hockey training and I would sit in the car and write down everything I had learnt in that day, that week, in terms of these machines, what they liked, what things I'd learnt and picked up in the time that I spent running them. And that's part of the sort of inspiration that started Maker's Muse. I wanted to share my experiences in running these machines to share with you guys on YouTube how to get the best experiences out of your machines and empower your creativity without being bogged down in all the fine details of actually making the machines run in the first place. However, during this time, I also picked up various miscellaneous tips and tricks which made running 3D printers a lot easier. For example, the fact that you can use the .3MF file format instead of .stl to greatly reduce the size of your mesh files if you're sending them to other people. Or for example, you can clean your nozzles using moisture damaged nylon. And also the fact that SketchUp makes some of the worst STL files I've ever seen. So it's a pleasure to present to you my new ebook, the 50 3D printing tips and tricks book from Maker's Muse. This book contains tons of information which you'll find valuable in your 3D printing adventures, whether you're a novice or expert. And these are things that I've used on a daily basis to make my prints better, make my experience easier, and enjoy 3D printing for what it should be, a magical experience that empowers your creativity, not something that gets frustrating and then stuck in the corner to gather dust because that's something I never want to see. So for this week, I've got the new ebook, 50 3D printing tips and tricks for 50% discount on Gumroad. It's 10 bucks US and every bit of proceeds go to supporting the Makers Muse channel and me and helping me do what, what I love doing, which is producing 3D printing educational content for you guys and after this week it's going to go back to its full price and also I'd like to say a big thank you to my Patreons who also helped me troubleshoot and spell check this book over the last few weeks. I really really do appreciate it guys and all of those guys got the book for free in return for being that level Patreon uh, patron on Patreon. So there you have it guys, the ebook is currently on Gumroad, you can get it from the link in the video description and I really do hope that it helps power your creativity to use 3D printing processes in all sorts of wonderful ways. My name's Angus, and I hope you enjoyed this video here on Maker's Muse. Happy printing, guys. Bye. Here's the latter half of the 20th century. A man has sent rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit.